And to God be the glory. As you can see, the walls of our church have, have been enlarged to accommodate the population explosion that this church will experience. I believe we needed to make room for the great number of souls that will be saved, healed, delivered, and discipled in this church. There's a world of darkness out there, and it's not just, it's not just the bad things out there. People are hurting. People are hurting in their heart. Behind every drug addict and alcohol, there's a hurt, okay? There's a vision. They are going to be drawn to that light. And when they get to that light, they're going to have to be ministered to. The pastor can preach and the board can do this, but the people have to yeah. embrace them as family. Yeah. Okay. Right. I spent 30 years in, in this church. I raised all my kids here. But the point is, it was the family of God that kept me strong, Amen. that kept me accountable, that was there when I needed it, and me to them. Okay. So that's my only point here. Church. Work on your own life, grow in God, grow in each other, and, and be, be part of that. If there's a basketball game over there, hoop night or something like that, and people come, church, go sit there and watch it. Cheer them on. Okay. And by the way, you just might find a mother or a father or a grandmother or a brother or sister there. Get to know them. And then embrace them with God's love.